Chapter 5. Ripening of the Vine. The most important period. The ripening of the vine is the period during which the fruit or grapes develop. This tends to last an average of 45 days, beginning usually in midsummer and ending at the beginning of autumn. Ripening of the fruit. Proper ripening of the fruit is a balance between its phenolic maturity, the grape itself and the sugar level, sugar which will convert into alcohol. The result of this combination of factors gives wines with an alcohol content which is well integrated into the fruit. Of course, ripening increases the weight of the fruit because its growth increases the volume of water it contains. Finally, we must consider that aromatic maturity is accelerated in the last two weeks before harvest if temperatures are balanced with a good day-night temperature inversion. Changes that appear during ripening. 1. Increase of grape weight. The grape goes from being the size of a pea to its normal size and from being hard to being juicy and fleshy. The size increase is due to the accumulation of intracellular water in the plant. Rainfall during this period contributes to significantly increasing the size and weight of the grapes. In some areas, wineries irrigate their vineyards to increase production, but Masset del Geo practices arid farming and does not allow this, as it can lower the quality of the grapes. The best thing is to have light to moderate rainfall for good grape ripening. However, Excessive rain dilutes the interesting compounds that are forming in the grapes, resulting in lower quality grapes and even rot spreading throughout the grape cluster. 2. Increase of the sugar content, glucose and fructose. There is a considerable increase in the concentrations of glucose and fructose during the entire period, reaching levels generally close to or above 200 grams per litre. Exposure to sunlight is essential for the synthesis of sugars. The sugar content in wine results in the ethyl alcohol content. Per each 17 grams of sugar, the wine will produce one degree of alcohol during its alcoholic fermentation. 3. Reduced acidity level. Before the summer, the grape is extremely acidic, during which period the levels decrease gradually until they reach about 4 to 6 grams per litre total acidity in the form of tartaric acid. Less sunny summers, which are more typical in the northern European countries, help to give a higher acidity than in the dry and warm summers of southern European countries. The ripening ratios for acidity and sugar concentration levels are the most important when it comes to determining the optimum time for harvesting the grapes. 4. Colour change. There is a change in colour from a greenish hue due to the large amount of chlorophyll the plant receives to the colour which is typical of the variety. So we get yellowish colours in the case of white grapes and reddish or purple tones in the case of red grapes. Throughout this period the grapes increase their concentration in polyphenolic substances which give the wine its taste and smell and especially its tannins which are substances that make up the compounds of the grape phenols. Most of the grapes coloured substances are located in the skin. 5. Formation of aroma and taste substances. Climate conditions are particularly important for these. A. Much sun is needed, but not excessive heat. B. It is important to have light to moderate rain, but nothing more. C. The difference in temperature between day and night is far ranging, and we need sunny days that are not excessively hot and cool nights which are not excessively cold. These conditions are paramount for a proper synthesis of aromatic substances to take place. This then translates into a good overall taste experience in the mouth.